Hey, Jeff. Hey, Vinny. How do you feel about a little B and E? Oh, that is, uh, you know, my favorite thing. A little B. A little if it wasn't for hip hop, I'd probably be crawling in your window. You I see what, what you're saying. saying. A little breaking. Mm -hmm. A little entertaining. Breaking and entertaining. That's what I said. So here we are in, uh, this is the Castle Doctrine. Uh, yeah. So in this game, you make a house. Uh -huh. You try to secure the house. It's all well and good. Mm -hmm. And things get weird. <laughs> you go out and you try to break into other people's houses. Yeah, those, those are the two activities to do in this world is to <laughs> secure a house. reinforce your own home yeah, uh, and then go out and steal from others who are attempting to do the same thing. So, so I'm here right now, and uh, this, is, this is the list of people from which I can break into their house, right? Yep. Uh, this guy's got a ton of money, so he's been doing real well, so I'm not going to go there. Uh, you start off with $2,000 in your home inventory, mm -hmm. in your safe, and we'll see that in a second. So I'm going to look for a guy who has $2,000 uh, in his safe. There, you oh, you've oh. asked it. Hopefully that means that... Uh, hopefully that means he hasn't spent any money, but two people have died in his house. So there's something there. Let's see if we can... Uh, Go rob that house. Oh, boy. Oh, this yeah. guy see, has that's... done a number. You know what? I think I've been in this house. I think I know how this goes. Oh, no. This is all new. It's all new code. Uh, so that's a family member. That's uh -huh. Claudia. Oh, fuck. Dog. That's a pit dog, So you dog, can dog, see, dog, uh, dog. you see the art style from here, and you can see it's also like turn-based, and you can do a confirmation of movement if you're uh, if you're really trying to nail this down. So this dog is just gonna come after me every time I move now. Yeah. These are windows. I think I might be fucked. I should, I'd say I, back out. I'd say punch get, out of there. Get it out of get the out house. Of there. I could try going in one of these doors, but man. Oh, jeez. Oh, you have to go in that door and what's uh, there what is that that's uh that's an electric floor that's turned on well well this is uh i'm gonna take the coward's way out. no what? you know what i'm gonna fight a dog nope nope so i that i died in that guy's house i need a fresh start okay, okay. this is where you actually start the game uh you have a safe and you have your family uh and wife two kids wife two kids and it seems like everybody's got that and uh when people break into your house they can uh, eliminate your family, and they, they, you know it's part of the game. Uh, you can arm your wife, yep. or, or your spouse. It looks seems like it's mostly a wife, yep. uh, as I played it. And uh, there's not really that much uh, going on with the game. Like there's, so let's start building. It's a simple it's, mechanic. It's a pretty simple mechanic, and as you kind of get deeper into it, you're like, ah, I really wish you had this, and. Oh, I really wish they had this. Uh, the part of the game I really like is trying to build an entire... Like, that guy did. Like, that was great. Yeah. You uh, want, you got want, me in the house. Yep. Got me searching around. And then, search, by searching around, you triggered some I, stuff I that, fucked up. Yeah, that left you dead. Uh, so, let's let's build a pretty simple... So I'm going to put the safe all the way at the end here. You can see kind of how big uh, the space you're working with here. It's fairly large, uh, considering the uh, yeah. amount, of, amount of times it takes you to die. Uh, let's put the family in the back by the safe. And this is some of the stuff that, as you start getting into it, you're like, do you do this for the 18th time? You're like, man, I wish this showed you the whole map. Or yeah, or you this so scroll, you scroll, or, scroll or just like better mouse control for scrolling, or the ability to save successful floor plans yeah. that you like, so that when it comes time to have a fresh start, you can just click a button and get and back like, out load there. And load it in, load a, load a template. So these are the build options. These are wooden walls, steel walls, and uh, concrete walls, and you can see they go up in price. Uh, as you're entering the breaking and entering part, you can actually get tools like a saw or a blowtorch or something like that, which uh, I assume would let you cut through these walls. I haven't actually been that <laughs> yeah, successful with yeah. the whole thing. Uh, doors, windows, I'm not 100%. We were trying out a little bit before to see what the windows do necessarily. You do have a limited field of view, like you saw when I was in there breaking into the other house. Mm -hmm. uh, pits, you'll just fall in your die, uh, so that's pretty helpful. Power will power all the electricity and wiring in the house, and that gets a little more complicated. These are switches that start off. You step on them, they turn on, but you can toggle them. These, uh, This is just the same thing, but starts at on position. These... Uh, Stick so like once you step on these, you ain't turning it. it off. Yeah, uh, this is kind of a fun one. This just uh, changes the uh, current from traveling 
north to south, uh, you know, uh, to horizontally. So oh, every time you step on it, every time so you, you step, kind of power yeah. different things with it that way? Yeah, uh, you switch. These are indicator lights, which are pretty good at uh, testing out your stuff. Yeah, because so the, how the process works is you have to build your house. Yeah. Then you have to test your house to make sure that it, it can be successfully run. With everything armed. With everything, everything armed. As, as if you were breaking into it. Right. But as you're kind of in the phases of figuring that out, you can put those indicator lights in instead right. of the electric floor plates because you can die while testing your house, <laughs> and then you have to start over. Which stinks. Yeah. Uh, the, so this is where it starts getting kind of fun, uh, the voltage-triggered switch and the inverted switch. So you basically have a, a power supply coming in from, say, the left over here yeah. and going out the right. But until this top part gets power, this circuit is not complete, right? So this uh, this will once it gets power completes the circuit and it's the inverse here when power stops coming to here uh, this will uh, it'll pull the switch up and it'll stop the, the circuit from going ah. uh, and we'll we'll get into that in a second electric floor powered doors power doors are kind of tricky because they are closed until they don't have power right so you'd have to have somebody stop the power from going to the door to ah. actually open it okay uh, powered door trap is a uh, or trapdoor is kind of like the pit. I assume I don't really use them. Then you have the, the dogs, and I've never used a cat or a chihuahua. Well, the chihuahua is there for when you're doing test runs. You can put it in instead of a pit bull because oh, it's not going to kill you. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you can give um, uh, your wife a shotgun, and she's the only one who can use it. And this is a really interesting thing. The panic button uh, allows your wife to walk over it and trigger a switch. So they need – this is the actual – I think the key thing about setting up your house, which makes it really hard, uh, even more so than you having to run it, your family needs a very clear path to get out of the house. They can't be obstructed by wires or, or pretty much anything. So let's just start building this, uh, a simple little enclosure here. All right, and let's just do the same here. So you, you can kind of only build where your character is, and you, yeah. can't, you can't walk through walls. So once we build this enclosure, if I want to do anything else, uh, I have to kind of demo some walls. So right now, Burglar's going to walk into this house. He's going to have a clear path to walk here. Yeah, you just have to get to the safe, And period. that's it. You, you don't have to get, to get out. out. And as soon as he's like within uh, a few squares, I don't know what the viewing distance is of my wife, she'll start beelining out the door. She'll make a direct path out the door, ignoring me. Or the, the burglar. Yeah. But uh, if she has a shotgun and you are in her way, she, she will shoot. She will take care of business. Yeah. Uh, but. Dogs, uh, kind of the same deal. They get triggered. They get then, triggered, but, but they'll they follow you. you. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what I can do, is, that being said, we can, uh, we can put in. I mean, dogs are rough. We can put in a dog here, right? So, I come in. Boom. I've got a dog on me. I've got to back out. Pretty much back out or buy something to take care of the dog. Yeah, the, the dog puts you in a situation where you can't make mistakes because you might not be able to backtrack because yeah. it's going to chase you one square at a time every time you move. So, uh, I, so it kind of gives you, you know, that like, okay, I know I have, I can make three mistakes or I can... Right. It, yeah, it adds a, an element that old, if you know the proper steps, you might be able to get through it, but if somebody else coming in is guessing, yeah. they're going to get chomped by the dog. Uh, so that dog will trigger when you're in a certain distance, kind of like the, the wife. So if we put a... So our second path going down here, right? Okay. Uh, and this is this is Vinny's hidden path. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll come around the side here, uh, and I'm just you know not doing this very efficiently, but you'll get the idea. And then, haha! -ha, now we've got a hidden path right to the safe, which anybody can go down. You are making it ultra inefficient by Super, having this be yeah. two squares yep. here. Yep. Uh, right. If I were doing this correctly, I'd just have them run down this whole path here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's, let's wall that off, and we'll take care of that stuff later. So now I can come in and just run down this way, right? Ah, bypass the dog. Screw you, dog. I got to the safe. Uh, and that's it. We can hit done. We can go start robbing houses and uh, do whatever we want. But let's try and add in a little security system. Let's move her here. Let's wall the safe off so you couldn't even get to it from that part. And maybe even move the safe up to the top to, you know, because the, the vision is pretty limited. Yeah. So you don't even want them to know the safe is down that path if, if you can help it. So let's say, uh, and I'm kind of working off something we were, we were workshopping before. Yeah. And I got to see if I kind of remember how we did it. So uh, 
the thing I like about, I'll just put these down here now so I can get to them easily, about these is you can have your wife, who will always go for the door, trigger these switches. So, uh, let me think, I'm like thinking of like 15 steps ahead. Uh, yeah, you need to kind of create a, a very narrow path for the wife to get out uh, so that she definitely hits that button. Right, and like I said, she will not cross over wires, right? So, let's just do this pretty simply at first. Uh, put a power supply outside here, and uh, this is wiring within the walls. Mm -hmm. So, if I do this, she will only walk on this plate. She won't walk, she won't cross oh, wires. yeah, yeah. Uh, and let's tighten up, uh, I, I did do this unfortunately, uh, too thick down here. Let's tighten up this path that I would have to take to one. Just in that one little spot. Uh, so if I put a grate there, uh, if my wife sees me, and she won't because I, there's a wall yeah, there's here. a wall there. But if she sees me, she will start walking this way. She'll trigger that. She'll turn on this grate. Uh, and there's no way for me to turn it off. Because you do, we, you have to run the house, but you have to run it without any tools. Right. Uh, here's a kind of list of the stuff you can buy. A saw, I assume, gets you through wooden walls. Crowbar, I'm not sure. I never bought it. never had enough money to buy it. Yeah. Um, cutting torch, I'm going to assume, gets you through steel walls. Crowbar maybe gets you through concrete walls. Yeah, it'd be nice if the game was a little more forthcoming with a little bit of information about some of these items. Yeah. Uh, uh, and this is uh, this game's been in alpha for a while uh, at a price of around 8 bucks. It is coming to Steam. Soon. And like this is soon. You're, We're running this through Steam, so yeah. I assume this is the version that will be propagated. Um, so I, I don't I don't know for sure. Like yeah. maybe, maybe come tomorrow or whenever it does hit, it'll have all kinds of tool tips and instructions. But right now it is it is kind of uh, opaque. Yeah, and like you you can go off and go look at a wiki to try and get more right 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 stuff like that. But uh, within the game, yeah, like you assume I assume and I assume correctly, drug meat is for the dog, and it does work. Uh, you just once you drug the dog, you don't want to step on the dog. Oh, yeah, she will die. And wire cutters, I haven't used that, but I assume you'd be able to break uh, connections. So, let's continue with our awesome little uh, plan here. So let's put the wife here, and let's make it so that. Uh, oh, see, yeah, she won't. She won't cross that wire, so we can't do that. Uh, I should have put this the other way around. You can put one more square over though, too. Let's put this here, and let's just do this uh, real quick, like. Burp, 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 burp. Okay, so if I were to pop up here and say, hi, wife, how are you doing? She'd freak out and start running this way. But as soon as she did that, yeah, I'm trapped in this. Oh, I'm trapped here, or I have to get the safe, which is what you want to do yeah. in, the, in the end anyway. Now, I think that that is uh, overly elaborate for what yeah. you have there, and I would just put a pressure plate on the other side of that grate so that you turn it on as soon as you step into there, mm. trapping, your, trapping you there. Could Definitely could do that, for sure. Uh, but that, so that's not what I, what I want to do, and uh, the reason I want the wife to trigger something. You can walk over wires. Right. What I really want to do is have it so that here's where this is where it starts getting fun, but also kind of complicated. When she hits this switch, and power comes to this thing, uh huh, it will. Uh, stop the circuit from being complete, right? Right. So, we'll put this actually powering, and I'm just going to move them as fast as I can here, uh, sick little trap over here. So, you come into my house, and you walk over. This thing is getting fed power. This gate's great on until you see my wife, and then she walks and she uh, turns it off. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's. I actually severed the wire there. Uh, Plus, you want the switch to be way down at the other end to force more. Yeah. So, time so ideally, and, what know. we were doing was we'd have her go see her. She'd have to walk all the way down to the end of the house before. Past like uh, three or four dogs. Past three or so four dogs. So you couldn't really go that way. Yeah. So like this was all the way down here. 
uh, and we can I can try and do this real quick, like, but um, I think you know where this is going. Yeah, the basics is she would hit that switch, and that would be the thing that turns off the grate so that you can get to the safe. Yep. Um, and then you had the idea that you wanted it to be set up in such a way that she turned it off, but then immediately turned it back on with another button. Yeah. So that you have basically one step or two steps so to get across that grate before it turns back on. Right. And also, on her way there, she would lock a door here. She'd hit another switch that locked you, or you would, uh, if you hit a sticky plate. Yeah, yeah. You, just, you basically trap be, you in. You, there's no going back. No going back. So you'd be trapped. Uh, you'd have to basically, I shouldn't be telling everybody how to break into my house, but... Uh, Pretend that switch is all the way back there. You will have to walk up here. You have to trigger her. Then you have to kind of know the count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. You'd have to know that the seventh step, both she's going to hit that button, and uh -huh. you are going to walk onto a, what looks like a live plate. Seven. It's turned off. Eight. It's turned back on. Right. And then you could go rob the house. Yeah. That, is, that was yeah. my idea. And then ideally, while you were sitting there staring at two plates that were turned on, you yeah. would walk up and to the left and get eaten by dogs anyway. If you tried to go up here, yeah, there'd yeah. be a bunch of dogs. So let's, uh, let's, let's pretend uh, that's what happened. Uh, I'll, I'll try and get it so that she just does this simple, simple little thing here. Is this all wiring? I can't quite see what I got selected. OK, so let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, we need a piece of. Wall with wire wiring in it, and then this guy uh, could just wire from over here. So, like, they don't really have, or the game doesn't have a lot of the pieces you really want to make this stuff. And it's part of the design, I think. They don't want you to make super easy, um, compact little electronic traps. Yeah. They want you to have to take up a lot of space. And it does. Like, you can't turn that. Uh, Did you sever that wire? Or is that wired wall? That's, that's a wire wall. Okay. So that should uh, do what we want it to do. Give uh, it a test. Yeah. This is where you use your indicator lights to make sure uh, this doesn't actually doesn't have power. Uh, and there's no, there's no plate for the trap. Uh, well, I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do this one here. Oh, this okay. One. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, fucking dog. Oh shit. Did he come down? I don't think he did. I don't think he did. All right. So that's live. That's yep. a, that a that's live bad. play. You don't want that. I've got to go say... And she's already taken off. You take off? From right? the looks of it. Okay. okay. Yeah, she and hit the off. switch. It's off. Yeah. I did it. So, you have to, so now that you've run that house... With no tools. With no tools, it gets uploaded to a server yes. so that other players can start to rob it. Right. And while that's happening, I'm doing the same. Yes. Uh, I'm looking for... 2,000. Uh, that's some people yeah, dying there. Yeah, people dying there. So three so guys... The numbers are, yeah, number of attempts, number of deaths during attempts. So let's, uh, let's go back to my house real fast since I do have some extra cash here. I'm going to bring some meat. I okay. found this to be very useful. Let's bring a saw. I haven't really uh, taken it. Uh, and, oh, I don't have All right, go die. Archives. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I assume these guys are guys I've tried before. Yeah, died. guys you tried and died on before uh, or something like that, probably. Yeah. Yeah, and it doesn't let you re-enter the house, so you can't just kind of keep testing the limits of the house. Yeah. Uh, but let's uh, let's go down to a house. So I'm of two minds about this, right? If you don't have a lot of money in your house, have you spent all that money on traps? And if you got a ton of money in your house, does that right. mean you're really 2500, good? 2500, 3 and 0. Oh. Does that yeah. mean three people just walked in and walked out because it looked too pro heinous? Pro probably. And, okay. Oh, oh, someone, someone else, else is robbing, robbing it. it. Okay. <laughs> well, let's not go there. Let's, uh, 7 and 2, 27 and 8. Those aren't great odds. Let's try this. Oh, All right. Man. So, that's a window. It's a window with a pit ball on the other end. Okay, those are turned off. Those are turned off. <laughs> Uh, so if I leave the house now, I will ditch my backpack. Yeah, your, back to, your, your backpack items are one-time use. But there has to be a way through this house. Fortunately, I may have already messed up. Like, I don't know what I've... Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you think? Uh, I'd say take the plate route. Uh, should I try the saw? I'm kind of curious to see how many times. Yeah. You think you use it once? Probably. Give it a shot. Let's see what happens. You're not going to make it anyway. 
Oh, that. Oh, yeah, this. Oh, she hit the switch. Who hit it? I don't know. Can the dog hit the switch? No, I don't think dog. And, and she wouldn't step on the switch. It must have been one of those panic buttons. Yeah, like, yeah. God, God damn but, it. But how did you activate her? She must. Uh, she must have just saw me. Yeah, I don't know where she would be. Here. We don't know where she was. We don't know anything about anything. <sighs> so, You're dead. House gone. It's, that's uh, it. yeah. That's it. I think it's really cool. That's it. I, so I, I, there's, there are things that I wish, you know, like maybe a couple more tools and just like a, a slightly better explanation of the tools. Let's ch check this out. Like I said, you have to be able to run the house. Yeah. You're not going to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's, let's try, I'm trying to do the bare minimum that would stop somebody. Let's at least put this off screen. Okay. I think it, if they saw an open house, that would be too inviting. Well, they would come in. Because like, when people do raid your house, you get to watch security tapes of what they did. There we uh, go. And I just, yeah, just want to show that. So I just want to upload a house. Yeah, that yeah. Something. Uh, and it doesn't tell you exactly when somebody's robbing your house, but you can kind of spam the security tape. Uh, if you try it's to go back to your house. usually if you return to your house, and it'll say, someone's robbing you. Hang yeah. on. You can't come back. But uh, uh, Until they're done. And then you can watch the security tapes and just watch their run of your house, yeah. whether they were successful or otherwise. So you want, you, It seems like we've seen a lot of people that step in, take three steps, and then walk right out. Like I should have done in that other house. Yeah. Just, so, like, there, I think but there's... But hey, no, you know, no, no risk, no reward. I, right? I'm That's, not 100% sure what you gain yet. Like, I've had a lot of... This game's kind of hard. So, like, yeah. Yeah. I've had not a lot of good runs of people dying in my house because they'll do that. So I'm not sure how much you want to make your house inviting to trap people in there. Yeah, because you don't know if, if killing people oh, gets go. you anything. All right, he Yeah, he, so he, he made it. it. He's, I mean, obviously, it was not that challenging. You can watch the tape. All right, hit play. You saw them dogs and just yeah. went, oh, man, screw it. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. Look at this guy. This guy's loaded. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I usually try and bank on uh, some of the stuff of, like, once you play the game enough, you know how things react. You know how the like, spouse reacts. Yeah. That she's not going to uh, come after you. But, like, when I first started playing, as soon as I saw a woman with a gun, I went the other way. Yep. Uh, so I kind of hope that a lot of people are doing that. But as the game gets out there, that's not going to be the case. It's, it's interesting. Uh Conceptually, super fascinating. I, I want to mess with it. I want to spend some more time with it once it's kind of out and a little more widely available. And there's still some questions that uh, I'd like to see about, uh, like, what do you keep? I, I, don't, I haven't seen if you keep the gear that somebody ditches when they leave your house. Right. I don't think they do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but I haven't checked my vault a lot, or if they uh, perish in your house. Uh, there's also uh, an auction you could go to, which I'm not... And get paintings. I, yeah, I don't yeah. fully understand that, but it just might be a way to spend money uh, and kind of like trophies on your yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, but yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, you know, obviously some stuff is a, a little loaded, like the name. But uh, yeah, I think like you said, conceptually, there's building traps, having people try to run your trap. Uh -huh. But I, I like the idea of like making it enticing enough to be like, you, you can keep, do this. Keep moving you got this, forward. buddy. Come on in and steal this money. Uh, but at some point, it just becomes really difficult unless you've got, I mean, you saw how little awareness you have when you're trying to rob a house. Let's, yeah. let's go try one more. Uh, so, really easy for me. I should just give her, you know, let's just. No, let's, let's go. Rob, rob the house. Rob a house. I'm gonna give her a gun. Give her, give her a thing. <laughs> yeah, she did have it. Yeah. All right. Let's go for the go for the top if we can. Hit unignore all. I think that actually might, yeah. Okay. This guy's got the most money. <laughs> all right. What do you think? That's a pressure plate. Oh, that's a rotary toggle switch. Go hit it. Go hit it. I just nailed this. <laughs> cat there. I don't know what the cat does. And a pit bull was following. And you're dead. All right. So that's uh Oh, look, he's got something. Yeah, uh, yeah, he does. He's got a painting there. Uh, but that's Castle Doctrine. Uh, should be available on Steam. If not now, then super soon. Yeah, uh, he's, he's selling it on on a website, the official site for the Castle Doctrine. We're selling it for like eight bucks. It's going to be more on Steam. Um, but uh, yeah. 
Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, thanks, Vinny. It's, 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 like I said, I like the building part. Other people might like the breaking. Those are some really cool ideas. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.